More than 1,200 seabirds have washed ashore off Washington State and Northern California in recent months. The birds in this case, Cassin's auklets, usually winter offshore along the Pacific. Researchers told the Los Angeles Times they suspect tens of thousands are actually dead, and they can't really explain why. Large-scale bird deaths tend to pop up a few times a year around the world. High-profile incidents occurred recently in Arkansas and South Dakota, and apocalyptic anxiety tends to lurk in the media coverage, casting the deaths in a divine or conspiratorial light. Some are never explained. Even if they are, the solution is rarely broadcast as loudly as the original report. In Arkansas, for example, a die-off of blackbirds around New Year's Eve was eventually attributed to firecrackers, which likely scared local birds from their perches at night and caused them to run into nearby objects. They died of blunt force trauma. This example illustrates how complicated and sometimes arbitrary these deaths can be. For perspective, according to Audubon researchers, there are an estimated 10 to 20 billion birds in North America at a time. About 5 billion die on the continent each year. Since flocks are often densely clustered together, sudden and sometimes unexplained deaths in large numbers are inevitable. Often, large numbers of birds in a certain region will be affected by local conditions, whether it's subtle climate shifts or residual effects from a faraway oil spill. And that means many of them will die. In the case of the auklets along the Pacific coast, researchers floated a few theories, none of them divine. A disruption in the food chain or an unusually warm climate this year may be to blame. For the next unfortunate local population to fall on hard times, let's remember that North America's prolific bird population has enough problems, man-made and otherwise, without being cast as the stars of a media mystery.